thefaithfullamb.com. Today's blog is dated November 18, 2021, and is titled, A Prayer for the Times. Rejoice in the Lord. As believers in the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we are the light of the world. Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16. You are the light of Christ to the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and gives light and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good deeds and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Hallelujah. As believers in Christ, we know from Scripture that temptation is common to human mankind experience, but that God will not let us be tempted beyond our ability to resist. We also know that if we remain steadfast until the end, resist the temptation of sin, we will be saved. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. No temptation, regardless of its source, has overtaken or enticed you that is not common to human experience, nor is any temptation unusual or beyond human resistance. But God is faithful to his word. He is compassionate and trustworthy, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability to resist. But along with the temptation, he has in the past and is now and will always provide you the way out as well so that you will be able to endure it without yielding and will overcome temptation with joy. Therefore, my beloved, run, keep far, far away from any sort of idolatry, and that includes loving anything more than God or participating in anything that leads to sin and enslaves the soul. Pray that we all remain steadfast under the trials and tribulations and temptations of human life, life in the flesh, for we know that if we persevere in righteousness, repentance, obedience to God until the end, we will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised. Blessed, happy, spiritually prosperous, favored by God is the man who is steadfast under trial and perseveres when tempted. For when he has passed the test and has been approved, he will receive the victor's crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. James 1 verse 12. Matthew 24, verse 11, many false prophets will appear and mislead many. Because lawlessness is increased, the love of most people will grow cold. But the one who endures and bears up under suffering to the end will be saved. This good news of the kingdom, the gospel, will be preached throughout the whole world as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end of the age will come. Pray that God's children have a renewing and a refreshing of spirit so that we do not become salt that has lost its taste, but that our light always shines brightly so that men may see our good deeds and glorify our Father who is in heaven. Praise God. Amen. Matthew 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its taste or purpose, how can it be made salty? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and walked on by people when the walkways are wet and slippery. You are the light of Christ to the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and gives and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good deeds and more and moral excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Finally, no matter what life throws at us, we know that no mountain is too high because the Lord is our strength and he has made our feet steady. A prayer of Habakkuk, a prayer for the times, Habakkuk 3 from the Amplified Bible, verse 17. Though the fig tree does not blossom and there is no fruit on the vines, Though the yield of the olive fails and the fields produce no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there are no cattle in the stalls, yet I will choose to rejoice in the Lord. I will choose to shout in exultation in the victorious God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, my source of courage, my invincible army. He has made my feet steady and sure like hinds feet and makes me walk forward forward with spiritual confidence on my high places of challenge and responsibility. 
He is my rock and my fortress, and I will choose to rejoice in the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.